joining me is John Wilson, who's running for the Select Board of New London. So, John, um, you've been on the Budget Committee for 11 years or so. You've really got a chance to see it. And I, I want to talk philosophically about your approach to budgeting. How should towns approach um, the process of setting the budget? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I would say that my own personal one is uh, to keep in mind, keep the actual uh, tax rate in mind. That's not the increase in the budget, but the tax rate. This allows for if there is an increase in the property values in town or the grand list, then that, that, that's a measure of the wealth of the town, and 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 the the tax revenue would increase, but the tax rate would stay flat. And uh, uh, this it, is, is, Has New London actually had an increase in the grand list? I mean, since 2008, there's got to be a lot of downward pressure on this. It's, it's pretty much hovered. You know, we were in within half percent, I think, uh, through that whole period of time. And so uh, we, we really haven't, and we tried to keep the, the tax rate rather flat. It's becoming... Uh, more and more difficult, of course, because of the of the uh, revenues that we've used to receive from the state. Uh, they're diminished, and uh, and the requirements for uh, employee retirement have gone up, and uh, so the, the revenues that we count on to offset uh, the requirement for taxes uh, are diminished. And I mean that's the cost shifting that we've heard conversations about across New Hampshire. Yeah, where the where the state legislature is. Teachers' retirement, uh, personnel retirement in the towns. Sure. It's the same retirement fund. Yep, yep. Where the state used to put in a portion and now doesn't. Uh, Is that, was that what? Yeah, my understanding. They put it, I think it's a reduced portion that they put in now. But uh, yeah, and that that is, but I don't think it's catastrophic, you know, the, the, the way it hit New London anyway. Um, the there are other uh, revenues that have been diminished. I'm not sure. I can tell you right off the bat, but the meals and rooms tax. I don't know if that has stayed constant. It seems to me that's diminished too. Um, is New London going to be able to grow its tax base, the the grand list as it as it is? Is there growth in housing? Well, uh, yeah. You know, there's a there's several minor developments going up. Uh, just as you go into town from Wilmot uh, on Cool Road, there's an eight-house development going there. Uh, there's other ones throughout the town of similar sizes. Uh, I think that it'll eventually grow. I think I think maybe we were up a half percent this year. So, on a 1.16 billion dollars, a half percent is a fair amount of cash. So. And, and and so basically, if that grows, the tax rate, the dollar per thousand can stay flat and the town has excess. Has more money. Now, you have to weigh that against uh, services and so forth. Uh, I don't know if you've seen in the news now, but there's a, a, a Newport has rolled back on their uh, uh, sharing of the ambulance service. And this looks to uh, bring about a $78,000 increase into a uh, to New London for ambulance service, and uh, that's almost uh, well, that's a little over a percent on the uh, overall uh, budget right now, and it's about eight cents on the tax rate. So, um, so every once in a while, we get these blips that you you and just you, have to you step can't up plan and, for right, right, actually. Um, so, when when you get something that you can't plan for, a cost like this, is your bias say, look, at, we've got to kind of deal with it to stay with a plan, or is it? We got to cut other things. I would say I would like to balance it. Um, there are sometimes some things there that uh, uh, that we are putting money into, uh, say, in a capital reserve account that uh, that perhaps aren't as critical right at the moment as they uh, they would be in good times. Um, and that that money might be used, say, for the ambulance service at this time, but not always. And uh, you know, right at the moment, we're in this thing where we got these two m major building things, which adds up to a lot of money. And uh, we're looking to do it the the smaller one for uh, with a bond. And and right now, 
uh, 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 money is cheap and you could pay for this over 10 years and uh, uh, and it's about the same amount of money we were setting aside to take care of these buildings in the first place, but we could get this stuff all done, completed, so. Well, and, 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 and that's true, because money is cheap. If, you, if the town can afford to bond it, it, it is cheap dollars. John, with that, we're out of time. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.